immediate threat, you got your self-defense. Because words don't work with these people. They're maniacs. It's 239 July 23rd. So key point. You know, these people are mentally disturbed. They're desperate. They're homicidal maniacs. They're involved with rape violence and then try to murder victims of their rape violence. They have no respect for human life. They will kill you. If any of these maniacs show up on your property making threats, always remember they have long-range weapons that can kill you at a touch of, the, of, a, of a button. And they would kill you if you do um, uh, stand up for your rights as a human being and as an American. And they may not kill you instantly. They may do their slow, covert, community-systematized murder and uh, kill you with uh, cortical atrophy or um, causing um, uh, distributed, randomized neurological injury or general and specific neurological injury and fire radiation at your brain. If they show up and threaten you, you should call the police or do whatever you can to get them behind bars because they are murderers. They are unfit to be in society. They are terrorists. Even famous people, rich people, poor people, middle class people, anyone involved with what I'm a victim of, a lot of them are terrorists and involved with organized crime and they are murderers and more than unfit to be in society. If they're threatening you, call the FBI, call the CIA, and if need be, you may have to use deadly force within the confines of the law, legally, if need be. Uh, they do have long-range weapons, and they will kill you at a touch of a button. They are mentally disturbed. Guarantee you it. Preferably get them behind bars for life. But there is corruption involved, and there's weirdos who cater to Hitler-like entities and who are not arresting known terrorists in America. These people are known terrorists and no known criminals involved with organized crime. So I'm not sure what the best approach is, but... If they threaten you, your life is in danger, and these people are, you, know, you may have to use deadly force for the safety of humanity and the safety of your life and your family. So remember that. Immediate threat is immediate threat.